disturbing. President Trump is willing to shut down the government over funding for the border wall. Come on in, Congressman Louis Gohmert, Republican, Texas. Do you think he's prepared to do that? Go all the way. Shut down the, go the government if he doesn't get $5 billion to build the wall. Uh, well, we ought to give him more than that. But uh, I think he is prepared to do that because he knows he's not going to get it next year or the following year. And, uh, you know, it, it, it just breaks my heart, Stuart. I go back to September in each of our last two conferences, Republican members, I got up and I said, people, the, the president is going to have his voters come out in 2020 and vote for him again because they see he has done, or tried to do everything he promised, but they don't have a reason to come out and keep us in the majority because we haven't even helped him with money to build a wall. And that was a, a central promise. Let's at least put some money in a bill before we leave for October. Well, not only did we not do that, we left a week early. We didn't help the president. And uh, Georgia, I think, is a good example. I understand that uh, there were 20 percent less voters than President Trump got. And the Democrats had 15 percent more than Hillary Clinton got. And it was almost devastating to that state. So uh, the president knows what should have been done, and we didn't get it done. So the least we can do is do it on the way out after having screwed up. As you know, Louis, the caravan, the migrants in the caravan, some of them have arrived. Oh, you at mean the there really is a caravan? I thought CNN, MSNBC said there wasn't one. <laughs> oh, that's interesting that it exists. Wow. Sarcasm okay. is a low form of wit, Louis, but you knew that anyway. <laughs> well, at least it's some form of wit. There's some evidence there of wit. But look, that's there's, good. There's, there's more coming. The ones that have arrived, sure I think they're in some kind of tent encampment waiting for processing. There's more coming. Isn't this a very strong argument to build the wall, isn't it? It's absolutely irrefutable evidence that we have got to build a wall that people can't climb up and sit on top of and mock our border patrol. We have got to do this if we are going to keep any sovereignty whatsoever. Okay. And I don't think we're going to build that wall. Do you? I do. I have that hope that springs eternal in the human breast. And I'm counting on our president to stay good on his word. And actually, I know that our folks, our Republicans, are scrambling to try to make sure we get money in there for the president to build a wall. And it could be done with reconciliation, where we didn't even need 60 votes in the Senate. Our speaker was a former budget chair. It can be done. Brad Byrne has a bill that would allow us to get that done with even more than $5 billion for the president. It can be done. We just need to do it. Give him the backbone, Louis. And thanks very much for being with us again, sir. Yeah, I know you are. Thank Thanks you. for joining us, Louis. Appreciate Thank it you. always. Thank you, sir.